actually set it at a certain speed and put it into a certain colour which you can do that via manual mode. All we need to do is press the menu button, press and hold until it flickers and then we've got auto turned off and we're going to go into manual mode. So I'll hit manual and you'll see here we can scroll through the colours. We've got purple, yellow, white, blue, green, red, and motor. First let's set the motor speed. Now if we start at the top, that's one rotation, really slow, and work that down, it's going to get faster. Till we get to the other end of the scale where the rotation has changed, and then I can slow that right down as well. So there we go, we've set the rotation. Going back into the menu, I can now bring in a colour. So let's say we want to bring in white. Obviously 255 is its brightest. And zero being its lowest. And that, in a nutshell, is it. If you wanted to set another colour, so we'll zero that. Sorry, gone the wrong way. If you want to set another colour, let's go yellow. Enter. Now I say it's, it's yellow, I think it's very much an amber. It's quite a nice colour actually. And then if we wanted to set another colour and do some colour mixing, what we can do is go back and let's bring some purple in. So I brought some purple in there and we're getting a different colour again. Let's put the purple on full. And when they do purple, I think they're specking that as UV. And then we'll let that set. What I think I might do is just bring some red into that. So let's go back. Enter red. And we can do all kinds of crazy colours. Also, what I will say, the menu is a bit unusual. It's a bit clunky. Um, I've set this up on a DMX desk and I found it very, very easy to use. So what we're going to show you, we're going to pan back. And all I've done is set up very simply on some sliders. I haven't programmed the DMX desk. I've literally plugged it in, set it into DMX mode and then taking control of it. I think it's a much easier way 
you can do all these settings via the unit but with DMX I think you can just adjust it it's less clunky and you'd achieve your colors much much easier but it can be used in both ways and to be honest I'm not a big fan of DMX because I'm a bit of a dope when it comes to DMX but I managed to plug this in and get it working with DMX straight away we'll show you that bit in the next bit of the video I'm here hello one star bell star burst sorry forgive me um, and I showed you how to set it up on the menu how to control it manually a little bit fiddly and I like easy now one thing I don't like because I'm used to sell it is DMX programming I'll admit it I'm not very good at it but I've got one of these little things here and this is a little 16 channel DMX controller it's not programmable all it gives me is 16 faders now that thing is 12 channels of DMX so I'm just going to use 12 of these sliders and now I've got control of the speed and the colours so I can change the colours around so as you can see on the little faders up here look at that and bring green in right we can bring the blue in we've got the white and we've got the amber or yellow and we've got the UV so then we can start doing some colour mixing right but you'll notice I've only got eight faders but we go to the second page and then what I can do is I can change the rotation speed it up and slow it down all I've done is stick that thing in DMX mode and control it from here which I think was an absolute double so for me using it like that is going to be a much more simpler easier to set up way to do it and this little thing it's about 59 quid and if you're buying a pair of them I'm sure we can do you a good price on one of these as well so click the link in the description to this video and it will take you through to our website and we've got this on our website and we've got that on our website and this all it is it's not a DMX desk it's not programmable it's just 16 faders that I can take hold of the control of that which makes controlling that very very simple other little thing about this thing as well is I haven't got it running on a battery but you can put a 9 volt battery in the back of there and it'll run off a 9 volt battery so then I've only got to have a DMX cable going from there to there it's all clever stuff I like things when they're simple and that has made that simple to control and easy for me to set them colours and do some colour mixing it's Mike at phase one I'm getting a crick in my neck oh. bye